This is our little Carabel T4. As you can see, it's not in the greatest condition inside, but I'm thinking most of the ceiling. I'm have a clean up with a bit of thinners. Um, because it's nice hard wearing it seems a bit uh, it seems like I shouldn't really rip this out let's put it that way a bit better off cleaning it up although we've got like over here there's actually a bit of a crack on there I think I can actually super glue that and smooth it in do some repairs on the plastic but some of the door skins are looking a bit manky um, but as you can see it's a fairly big van um, this seat is one of the biggest problems because ideally I'd want it reversed so it's back here because then I can put a table in. Um, later on we're going to convert this to a camper van but for the next 12 months at least it's just going to be a case of tidying it up and uh, making it usable. Uh, yeah, I mean the engine wise there's sound on it. Change the stereo as well because the it had an old old system in there. I mean, this one's only a cheap thirty quid stereo, but it's SD card and works off my smartphone. The other one was more just radio. Um, but taking that out, it's surprising how bad the electrics were because uh, I. Uh, this is what it, excess cable that was actually in there. It didn't actually need this. As you can see, that is actually another one of those. And there was another one on top of that. There we go. There's all these extra cables. <laughs> it just didn't need it. So I ripped it all out and rewired it. Now the reason I was a bit fussy on the electric here is this has had an electrical fire. Um, which is, I think, how it came for sale in the first place is People get a bit paranoid with electrics, and so previous owners had it for some time, but now decided they didn't like it anymore because they've had a little electrical fire. Um, but looking at the electrics, it's not a biggie. Uh, not sure why it caught fire, but have you seen the state of the uh, electrics for the stereo? It would sort of make sense. Um, steering wheel has got to be changed for the same reason as you can see it's got burn marks all around here so this is coming off one of the problems I'm having here in Spain is that most of the bits and pieces I need I don't know where to get them um, so I'm on eBay co UK where I'm finding most of the stuff funny enough comes from Germany so I go co UK to go to Germany not a, not an issue it just takes about a month for most of the stuff to get here also not a big problem because like today we're marking out the curtains we've got a curtain rail coming across here and to separate off the driver and uh, passenger area because obviously when you're par parked up if this is all blacked out in the back nobody's got any idea what's in there there's another curtain going on the back window and each of the side windows are getting curtains as well because um, one of the things you do get in Spain is excess sunlight so we've got some heavy duty, um, I think it's called it Oxford Twirl, it's a um, heavy duty material because my wife's making the curtains. Um, I'm lucky enough to be married to the daughter of a seamstress and a tailor. Um, so my import was getting the sewing machine, the rest of it my wife's taking care of. But if anybody's got any ideas on where to get some of these parts, because like the door handle covers are missing, so I want to just change the door handles, but I really don't want to go to Volkswagen where they can get paid through the nose. Um, so if anybody knows any VW places or uh, dismantlers that deal with commercial vehicles to get some of these bits, I'd be grateful for the help. Uh, but basically that's our van. It's, as you can see, it's still a bit untidy because we use it for the school runs. Um, it's even got the third seat that folds down, so it's it's like a proper little mini bus for the family. So anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah.